Hi, welcome to Soul Kiss. My name is David Azer and I'm here to talk about love. I want to try a little something different today. I'm going to read to you some prose that I wrote and um, see if this might be something that you guys like, you know, and if you do, just comment or like it or love it or whatever. But, but let me know that um, this is something you want more of and I'll, I'll be happy to do that. I, I wrote this special stuff just, just for this moment and you know it's just me being my poetic self and I, I hope uh, hope you enjoy it so it's called stellar sheen what earnest quest plays within our supernatural hearts whose absolved desire is to taste sweet love even though we are constantly beguiled by an infestation of confusion, our souls rise above its unrelenting absurdity to seek love's true nectar. Love's precious cause drives our lips, fingers, and bodies to press against an ambrosia of amorous abandon to imbibe its sweetness. Oh, this rarely attained sentiment swoons and enamors our soul so profoundly. It quiets a restless mind and enriches our desire to be present in this creamy taste of joy. There is no other need for anything, and if our willfulness could reside in a timeless spot, there would be no wanting at all. No constructs can prescribe this boundless need to merge our dire spirituality at all cost. Not even our imaginations can conceive of such propensities that cause two souls to crave and bind as one. Boundaries become meaningless, and worldliness is an inconsequential prevention towards being absorbed by nothingness. All things come to mend, and all things internal become external to bathe in a union of stardust. Two compelled to congress in ways beyond a physical identity, desperate to meld and melt into one singularity, exploding over life's event horizon. Mirth and gorgeous such spirits made of prospects uncovered on their journeys shiny like silver and precious as gold. Its elements are not melted in a crucible forged in a blast furnace or hammered out by a blacksmith. Their golden aura turns their mere mortal bodies into unfathomable divinity in a twinkling of ephemeral timelessness. My face nestles in her bosom, suckling its tenderness given freely, unspoken and without coercion. She has found my center, binding me to set sail among the tantric cosmos, driven by stellar winds that fill our buoyant blank canvas. She knows clearly what has fated us, and she is that fate, grinning with enchanted femininity, peering over an eb ebony sea. Now a perilous journey appears calm at her hand on the Dharma's will, directing us home on those currents of love. We found nobility, phenomena, in our intrinsic inheritance, written on a tetrahedron brand, etched into starlight. She is that beacon. She is the sign of deliverance. She is compassion incarnate for my divinity to behold. Mm. In my divinity always welcomes hers to behold. Thank you for listening. The link to my book is down below. And, mm, oceans of love.